And a great character to have in the sport, Mark. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> From uh, Ballard, Washington, which is a uh, Swedish-Norwegian fishing community part of Seattle. Now, earlier action once again as Heat 1B went on the water. You see the two green boats out there, Zenetics 1 and 2, driven by Greg Hopp and Terry Proxel. There comes the only boat still running World War II piston power. Who's that driver? Oh, that's Brother Mitch, still my favorite and the fans' favorite. Oh, and moms probably too, huh? That's right. There you see the Zenetics boats out front at the start of Heat 1B. Greg Hopp and Terry Proxel. Proxel, our winner last week in the Tri-Cities, and he got some help from this guy, Greg Hopp, who ran some interference for him. He did. There's nothing like having a partner out there helping you out. Greg's looking around. This is a great shot. I just love this. People can understand how much a driver's bouncing around, and he isn't even going yet. Our in-boat camera makes it look like there's some room in there. It's really pretty tight. Yeah, they pack in there pretty tight. Around the shoulders, your hips. you got to stay in place when you're trying to control the boat. After the first lap, you see, it was Greg Hopp, the leader. Now, Terry Troxell's boat, a little bit of black added to the cowling for this race, so we can tell Zenetics 2 from this boat. Zenetics 1, that's Greg Hopp. He had the inside, he had the lead, and he would go on to the win in Heat 1B. But some pretty good racing here with him, primarily his teammate. It sure was. Those are both really fast boats. They're great rough water boats. Fred Leland builds a real sturdy one, so I'm sure they were having a lot of fun. You drove those too, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I went out and munched up a couple of them, actually. Mark Evans with us here on the broadcast because he finally ran out of owners who would give him a ride. Hey, now, watch out there. There you see Greg Hopp leading up the backstretch. This young man, absolutely a lead foot, drives hard every time on the water. He's one of the most aggressive guys you'll see run on the inside of a race course. You watch him in some of these races, he's burning up the inside, it's very dangerous, and he'll just hang on and go for broke. It's now, a great race. How game. about this guy, Terry Troxell? Did he prove in the Tri-Cities that he's a front runner? He really did. You know, Terry's driven the limited boats for years and years, and he's very aggressive. Uh, he started to mellow out a little bit, so to speak, and get control of the boat, and did very well down at Tri-Cities. You saw Mike Hansen driving the Skyway Park Bowling Casino. Then that was Jimmy King in the uh, Lumar window film. Here's Mitch Evans once again. This is the way the hydros used to sound before they went to turbine power. That's a World War II piston engine. Pretty good race right here back in the pack. That's Scott Pierce in Jim Harvey's Trend West Resorts, and he hooked it up with uh, Jimmy King out of Michigan. Yeah, it's great to see Scott back. I've been calling him the old dog. You know, he's been around for years, and for him to come back racing, I think he's having a great time. Now you saw the two green boats side by side. You see Greg Hopp giving teammate Terry Proxel thumbs up. That must have been after the finish. Ah, uh, well, I think the owners and officials would hope so anyway. 